we are at the boat show of the annual Great Bathtub Boat Races in Ely, Nevada. Today we're going to go around to the different owners and have them introduce their boat and tell us the top features of their boat and why they think they're going to win the races tomorrow. Here we are with Eric Sky, owner of The Pun. Eric, you got your boat here. I know you've brought it here for years in the past and it hasn't done so great. What do you think it will do this year that might win? Well, this year we uh, readjusted our pontoons um, so they're more streamlined and uh, we have taken our 850 pound boat and uh, our engineers made it 350 pounds lighter, which is quite nice and it's way more streamlined. It's no longer made out of 55 gallon drums. Right. Have you tried it out? No, we'll uh, find out what happens tomorrow at the boat race. All right, it looks like we got some Trojan warriors right here. Why do you think you're gonna win? We're gonna win tomorrow because we got lots of main power. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Trojan. We got Trojan being down here. See cool. go along with the boat? Yes. It does, okay. It's just oh. there for <laughs> You kind of kick in the back with a little speed? All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're here with John with the Hillbilly Deluxe. Howdy, y'all. Now, this boat has won a lot of money over the years. It's a big competitor in the races. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your boat? This boat right here, I mean, it has lots of features. I mean, the first main feature, of course, we got the bicycle that makes everything go. And with the bicycle, and it will paddle just like any other bicycle, us making the rudder and the paddle wheel go. The original paddle wheel ever. And always so busy that the clothes, they gotta dry too while we're out here racing, even though we're just racing, we still gotta have clothes drying. Just so we can wear them home. And a few other features just always have the beam going, and of course, take the mango. It always does real good, and it gives us kind of good luck, and it's one of those main things that just helps you tug along. Just keeps the character going. What do you call this boat? This here's Paul Hillbilly. This is Paul's. I mean, I'm just, I'm just Sean Hillbilly, but this here's Paul's. He takes it to ride his boat. It's one of the only motorized ones out here. There's a few motorized ones, but what really makes it special is uh, we always have the navigation lights going. It's red and green. They always got good. You can drive at night. Even. I mean, everybody has to be able to drive at night. And the shower heads, they, they actually water it, it does real good. It has also spray nozzle in the front. Where we were driving, we can play with it. When there's water, so we can soak it. Kick down. Kind of slow down the competition, you know, spray a little bit in the ride or something. It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. And the motorized horse, you know, the motor, around the lake, you know, so it does real good. All right, it looks like we got one more boat. Yeah, yeah, we do. I mean, it's last minute thing, and we threw it together in the last week. It's a red solo cup that goes with a the good theme. We're having good times out here. Have the adult beverage coming foaming out of the cup, of course. And it, it is strictly ore powered. So whoever's in here ore, they're gonna ore their butts off and try to try to win. This is a, this is gonna be friends and family, all the people we come. We're gonna have a good time. It's made for a good time. That sounds like a lot of fun. I hope you have a good time. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, John. Hey, you too, John. Is this your boat right here? Yeah, that's my boat. What's it called? That's my boat. <laughs> what's oh, you know, what's so the name sure. of the boat? That's my boat. Oh, it's called That's My Boat. Yep. Well, that's a clever name. <laughs> How does it work? Well, it just floats on a big inner tube and Sometimes it works, and we're hoping the new design that I put on the bottom where somebody's swimming with their feet, oh, okay. we won't just spin in a circle like we did last year on Cape Lake. All right, you think you're going to win? I hope so. I won. He won last year. Corbin won last year, and I got a picture to prove it in our paper. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Got the big paddles on the side that'll make it lighter, 
you know, scoot across the water better. And we're always trying to play them against the Hillbilly Deluxe. They beat us every year, two years in a row. But we got some rivalry. Yeah, there's a little bit of rivalry here. We're still looking forward to beating them one of these times. Well, that's great. It sounds like you're going to do well. I hope you win. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, guys. All right, what's the name of your boat here? Well, the past four years it's been called Untamed Tubby, but this year we called it... The Untamed Mess. The Untamed Mess. All right. Because we have trouble with the floating. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, how does it work? You have to tell me a bit about it. Well, well, it works by pedal power. You do a lot of laying work. We got the um, paddles here that are powered by the pedals. We got the um, PVC pipe that help keep it floating so that it doesn't sink, but right now it's a little bit off balance, so we'll have that fixed tomorrow so that we can win every race that we're in. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. I hope you do great. Oh yeah, we're gonna do great. All right, thank you so much.